Hi, Justin. Always nice to see you. Hi, Julia. You too. I'd like to start off with congratulating you on completing the first of its kind digital media industry study in Canada. Thank you. That was awesome. It was announced this morning to kick off MASH, so that's a pretty big deal. It's a, it's a perfect place to, to, to launch this kind of, uh, you know, launch this, this report and talk about this kind of data. Uh, I'm very proud of the results that we've gathered over the last year. Uh, I think this is a phenomenal report, and it's an important first step in, in helping us understand who we are, what we're doing, and most importantly, where our industry is going. Uh, and as we measure over the, you know, the next three to five to ten years, we'll be able to trend and plot to see where our industry is growing and how technology is affecting uh, the digital media industry. Yeah. Um, well, how did you how did you actually come about doing this study? Um, maybe, maybe you can maybe you can actually start off with some background on yourself and then how you got involved in the study. I got involved in the study uh, simply because I wrote a blog post about uh, the lack of the lack of comprehensive data where it concerned the digital media industry in Toronto. And a lot of people stepped up and, and, and said, you know, why is it that as a community we can't get it together and, and, and truly, uh, you know, understand what the digital media industry in Toronto looks like uh, from a company but also from a workforce perspective uh, and also understand where it is that we're going. I think that's the big thing is it's great to talk about what we've done in the past, but I think it's more important to talk about what we're going to do in the future. Mm -hmm. just maybe maybe to predict where we're going or get a better sense of, of, of where we might be headed. I was fortunate enough to, uh, to connect with John Lax at TN and, uh, TN and Lax, a, a local uh, uh, user experience agency, and, and he, he loved the idea right away, and uh, he, he's been the, the biggest supporter of this. Uh, TN and Lax uh, dispersed $40,000 through the Mesh Prize at the uh, 2010 Mesh Conference to give us some focus and some direction for this research study uh, and help us uh, you know, really understand what the, what the economy looks like, not just here in Toronto, but all across Canada. And uh, I am very, I'm very happy and very proud to have had the opportunity to work with him on this. Yeah, that's pretty exciting work. And, and in doing research, particularly in an, in an industry that there hasn't been a lot of research done, um, is challenging. The what were some of what were kind of some of the things that helped you the most, and um, maybe even from a people perspective or groups or technology application perspective, like. What do you think helped manage your project through the past year? Well, we have, you know, I, I, I don't want to forget to, to, to thank the people that helped. I mean, we had amazing amounts of support from, from people all over the country, from, mm -hmm. you know, from as far west to, uh, as Vancouver to as far east as Halifax. And, you know, over the course of the past year, we've, we've been able to build relationships with uh, not just those that work in the industry, but also like agency owners as well. We had, we've had amazing support from, uh, from the folks in Vancouver uh, who we had an opportunity to meet with and talk about what we're doing and what our vision for this project is, uh, but also meet with people in Toronto as well. Jet Cooper has been a fantastic supporter of what we're doing and they've been, they've been, a, they've been a phenomenal partner in helping us uh, just understand you know, what, what it is that we need to do. They've, they've been great in providing lots of support and giving us space to, to, you know, to meet with people and talk about uh, how, to, uh, how to better survey this industry. I mean, Jack Cooper uh, helped us with uh, providing workspace so that we could get a working session going and talk about what the workforce survey was, uh, would look like. And within the space of an evening uh, and 12 people, we were able to come up with a, with a roadmap for what that survey looks like. And the, the Jack Coopers and, uh, and the team and Laxes of, of Toronto and, and, and all of Canada have been uh, phenomenal in helping us get, uh, you know, just give some direction to this project. There have been a lot of technology associations as well that, that, have, that have helped out. Uh, RGD, the IABC, uh, CDMN, the OMDC, Mars. So many technology and industry associations have helped out with getting the word out and helping us get responses from our survey. And, and they, they have really been the, uh, the, 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 the core community drivers of, of, uh, of, this, of this project and, and ultimately have helped us get to the point where we are right now with this amazing report um, that I think really encompasses what we, uh, what we as an industry look like. This is a first step for us. I think we've done incredibly well with this, but this is, we've opened the door and we've taken that first step through. The, it's not an easy winding path. It's, it's going to take a lot of work as we measure this year over year over year. And we'll take the, the, the lessons that we learned from this year and the challenges and we'll apply that to the next iteration mm -hmm. and so on and so on. So that's great to hear that you're going to be doing this again, um, and they're funding this project um, in 
indefinitely or just um, for sure this next year? Uh, we don't have funding for the next year, uh -huh. uh, so it is it is my hope that at, at, at the MeSH conference or in the days after uh, that we can start to have conversations uh, you know, with agency networks and with yeah. the, you know, traditional investors to see if there's an opportunity to fund this research study again. I, I think that you know, this, this kind of data is extremely important. If you looked at what we collected over the course of the past year, we collected, information, we collected some very interesting information. We've been looking at how companies are projecting their hiring over the next year. We found that 75% of the companies that reported into the survey are reporting that they're going to increase their headcounts. Mobile application development was the biggest, was the was the, the skill set that was most in demand. And, and that's that has, uh, it's not surprising to hear that, but I think that it's very interesting because there's a lot of potential for people, for people who are interested in getting into the market or even potentially changing jobs, moving to a new organization. So, I, I hate to say it, but economy from economy, there's a lot mm -hmm. of opportunities for people that work, for those that work in this industry. And I think that that's the, that's the, the key takeaway is that our economy is strong, that we're doing well, and that uh, it will be very interesting to see how the industry changes over time. Yeah, that's a well. That's a very interesting finding. The, the mobile part. I'm not. I'm not incredibly surprised by that, but that's a great industry for developers to think about if they're not already developing for for mobile. But it's not surprising. I mean, simply because like the the, the iPhone and the iPad, huge implications, uh, not just for you know for entertainment, but for for health, and for science, uh, for medicine, for for all kinds of fundraising, for all kinds of different industries and verticals and, and all kinds of different campaigns and things that you can do. I think there's so much, there's so many implications for mobile, so it's, it's not surprising to see that, but it's nice to hear that, that, that brands and, and companies are willing to take a risk and jump into mobile and, and start establishing mobile touch points. I think, I think that uh, it's very encouraging and I'd like to see how that changes over time as mobile mm -hmm. becomes more prevalent as we become less connected to physical computers on a desktop and moving more towards iPads and, and other mobile ty uh, types of mobile devices. Right. Yeah, it's, it's interesting how everything's um, unfolding. Like most people, you don't see many people with laptops here. Everyone's um, just on their slate machines and, and iPads and stuff, so yeah, very this, cool. This, I think this is the first conference where I've seen more uh, more iPads and more products yeah. and more tablet-based devices than actual laptops, and I, I think that just that, that just reinforces our, our, our assumptions as to where our industry is going in terms of uh, digital media and uh, and its relationship to uh, to mobile devices. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that's been interesting to watch. And what, in terms of uh, other findings, was there anything else that kind of caught you off guard, or anything, anything just on a high level overall that you found that was uh, something new to you? Uh, I wouldn't say that this particular data set is new. Uh, the one thing that we did find that was uh, was was, uh, was was interesting, or worthy of, uh, of, of more than just a token mentioned was the issue of uh, perception of bias. The technology industry has always been a very uh, male-heavy industry. Uh, we found that there's a larger perception of bias towards women than there were towards men. We just found that, 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 that women tend to get paid less. However, what we did find that was interesting was that women are getting more pay raises at a higher rate than, <coughs> sorry, than men are. I think there's a lot of interesting data in our report that talks about uh, that talks about everything that we found from a workforce perspective and breaks it out into groups. The you know the the, the male versus female uh, you know, when you compare those two data sets. I think there's a lot of interesting stuff in there. And I mean I could talk about this for hours. Right. But if, if I could leave you with with a with a tip or with with a, with a quick promo. Download the report at 49pixels.ca. There's a lot of interesting information in there. Uh, let us know what you think. Uh, hit me up uh, by email, justin at 49pixels.ca. Get me on Twitter at 49pixels or post up on our Facebook wall. Let, let us know what you thought, facebook.com slash 49pixels. I'd really love to hear what people think of this report and how we can work together over the next, uh, over the next year, two years, five years, ten years to really build a survey and get some really good data for our industry and show, you know, who we are, what we're doing, and where we're going. Fantastic. Well, I can't wait to download the report. I saw a quick summary of it, but I'm definitely going to check it out. Um, again, congratulations. I think it's uh, just an outstanding achievement, and I know it was it was difficult. Before we before we close, I just want to make sure I can post this on, on uh, my blog. It's totally on cool. On our blog, 425. All right. Thanks a lot, Justin. Thank you.